Hi everybody, Alex the Ploy from Expert Forex and welcome to today's video. We're going to be talking about the weekend gap trading method and how it has been automated for you. It's quite appropriate. This is Friday and a lot of weekend gap traders are getting ready to trade the weekend gap. So let's have a look at what that entails. Essentially on your screen you can see a weekend gap where the price stopped on the Friday evening or Saturday morning, depending on where in the world you located, and then opened on the Monday morning in a different place to what it closed. And that is because over weekends you have lots of things happening. You have uh, elections, you have economic events happening, and the Forex market keeps on adapting to those events. Therefore, the price on the Monday could differ quite a lot from the Friday price. And then that is what we call a weekend gap. And why this gap de develops is that the broker actually closes trading on the Friday and reopens trading on the Monday. And that is what causes this gap. So it's a really easy trade to make. When there's a gap open on the Monday morning, trade in the direction of the Friday price. Very easy, you just trade in the direction of the Friday price. And statistically, and we keep quite good records on this, 79% of gaps close. In other words, they come back to the Friday price. Now there are some challenges regarding weekend gap trading. Firstly, we don't know when they will happen. Some weekends they happen, some weekends they don't happen. It all depends on the volatility of what's going on in the world at the time. We also don't know how big the gaps will be. So some gaps are only 10 pips, other gaps as, as shown before was 80 pips. And by the way, that gap happened this year. We also don't know which currencies will be affected. Some currencies are not affected and others have huge gaps. The other one that has happened in recent years is that the brokers do tend to increase their spreads over the period when they close and when they open on the Monday morning. On the Monday morning, the spreads can be quite high. And that is mainly because that is the most illiquid time of day for a particular broker. So they would increase the spread to discourage trading. Now again, this, this weekend gap trade has been traded by me personally over decades, literally over decades. So I've been trading it for about 14, 15 years. It's a bread and butter trade, not complicated at all. And now that we've automated it, it is even less complicated. So there is a course that you can do on Udemy it really not doesn't cost that much. As you can see, a, a lot of students have already done that course. It's got a, a good, a fairly good rating. And there's a whole lot of things that get covered in the course, talking about the challenges of a weekend gap trading. But essentially, it's a very straightforward and easy trade. We're going to be looking at some practical trades that have occurred. And uh, but, but before that, I just want to very briefly go through the inputs for our e uh, gap trader. The gap trader has been around four to five years and it has been a pretty stable EA that we use. It. And it, obviously it's a special purpose EA. It only gets traded on weekends. So the first question we ask, what is the minimum gap size that you want to trade? Sometimes if the gap is only seven pips, it's not worth trading. Uh, then they say, uh, we, we ask, what is the maximum gap size that you want to trade? Sometimes when the gap is too big, it's dangerous to trade because it means the, the price is going to run, run onwards. But there is a, a setting to deal with that too. And then what is the maximum spread? Now, very important one here is that if the average spread for the euro, for instance, is two, the weekend spread for the euro is nine or ten which is very possible if you actually do some investigation you'll see that your broker extends the trend the, the spreads tremendously over weekends so what happens is the 10 takes a while to come down to the two again it could take an hour or two so you don't want to trade when the spread is 10 so here you set the spread at which point you're comfortable trading the trade. So in, in, in the case of the euro, you might want to set that to three or something like that. And only once the spread has reached three, will the EA co consider the trade. 
It will then look at if the, if the gap is still big enough and then execute the trade. Then the direction of trade, you can choose to trade in the continuation of the gap or you can uh, trade the closing of the gap. As I say, 79% of trades close the gap. So that would be the, the obvious choice. But there could be situations where the continuation of the gap uh, is tradable. Now, the, here's the tricky part. We don't know the size of the gap. And so to set profits, we set them as a percentage of the gap itself. And to set a, a stop loss, we set it as a percentage. Because if it's 10 and we set a percentage of 90, there will be a 9 pip take profit and a, a 12 pip uh, stop loss in, the, in, the, in this e example. But let's say that gap was 100, then the take profit would be 90 pips and the uh, stop loss would be 120. So it just depends on the size. And this is what's so clever about this EA. It is adaptable to the size of the gap. Then it will ask you the normal uh, questions about what do you want to risk? You can risk uh, manual lot sizing or a percentage of your account on the trades. And then it allows you to have a trailing stop to follow the progress of the trade. So it's a really nice and simple EA. So let's have a look at this EA in action. Now, as you know, we are running a trading competition covering all of our 14 set and forget EAs. And if we go down this competition, we come to ninth place uh, where the weekend gap is located. And the weekend gap is making uh, over 50% return in this particular competition. You must bear in mind that this weekend gap only trades a few hours on a Monday morning, whereas all its competitors, all the other EAs, trade continuously 24-5 and therefore have a huge advantage. This is a specialist EA that only trades the weekend gap. So let's just click on that link there and it will take us to the competition details and there they are. I'm going to open the competitors and there you can see the leaders in this in this competition and you can see there's the 51 uh, percent turn. So if we want to have a look at more detail about this uh, th this person's trading, we just click on their name, or their username, and uh, it will take us to their statement. And here you can see uh, more details. There's the 51% return. It, it then will show you how many currencies it's traded. It's ba he's basically traded all of the currencies. And you can see a chart of the results that have come through and he has traded every weekend that the competition has been running. You can see a one weekend, two weekends, three weekends, four weekends, five weekends, six weekend, and we're into our seventh weekend. So every single weekend he has made a profit. Also, let's have a look at the analysis. He's traded all 28 of the currencies. Not all of these currencies are profitable. Uh, we'd have, if you sort the, the net profit situation, you can see there are quite a number that are unprofitable and he will have to consider whether to drop some of these currencies. But there are a few that are very profitable that make up for these unprofitable currencies. Now, so here's an example of the EA being profitable every single weekend. It being traded on, on 28 currencies at the moment. Now, you could not do that manually. You, you know, it's just too much to do manually. So what he's done, he's loaded the EA on 28 of the currencies and it is trading for him on an automatic basis. Now I hope you found this video interesting. The weekend gap has been a bread and butter trade for traders over 20 years. This has been going on for a long time and it is such a simple and easy trade to do that uh, we treat it as a bread and butter one. It just runs in the background and we make our money and, and that's what happens. Now if you're interested in the uh, weekend gap EA please go and visit the website. Uh, the link will be displayed on this video uh, and it explains how it works and also it's showing currently the weekend uh, gap results and also you can get 80% off all of our set and forget EAs if you click on that link. So from me Alex Deploy, cheerio. Thanks for watching this video. If you've liked it please give it a like. If you haven't subscribed yet subscribe and click the bell. 
But most importantly, share this video. You can do this in many ways. Message your friends, send them emails, or share it on social media, on Facebook, on Twitter, and those kind of places. So from me, Alex Aploy, cheerio.